Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to install an APC on WAMP server. I'm using WAMP server 2.4 and my PHP is 5.4 I think. So let's get started. First of all go to your browser and type in downloads.php.net forward slash pierre and search for APC. Extract the content and you will see that there is two folders. The first one is NTS which stands for non threat safety and the second one is TS. So we're gonna check in our PHP info file if threat safety is enabled and if it is we're gonna use this one, this one DLL and if it isn't we're gonna use the other one. So go to your browser and go to localhost PHP info and check if thread safety is enabled. It is so we're going to use the DLL from TS folder. I'm going to copy this DLL and I'm going to show you where to paste it. Go to your bin folder in your WAM directory, uh, PHP extension folder, and paste it in here. Now go to WAMP bin Apache and bin again, search for PHP INI file and you will need to add a few lines at the bottom add this to the bottom of the document and under this part add this I'm sorry, extension equals PHP. After you did that, you save changes and you will need to restart your WAMP server to apply these changes. So I'm gonna restart all services and check if APC exists in here in our php.info file. So let's search now. It doesn't exist. Okay, I'm gonna search again and it's it's in here it's enabled now I'm gonna create a test file to test if it really works and to demonstrate some possibilities or uh, functions that you can use with ABC so go to your favorite editor and I'm gonna save this into the www folder I'm gonna say test and inside of this folder I'm gonna create index file and an index file first we check if data you can call this uh, as you want but I call this data if it exists we're gonna echo the fetched value data and if it doesn't exist we're gonna echo no and we're gonna store the value of data we're gonna say let's put the value of yes and let's store it for 15 seconds or better 10 Okay, save this file, go to your browser. If your web server is running, go to localhost, search for test, and it says no. If we refresh, we can see it says yes. And after 10 seconds, uh, this value will not be in our cache, so we're gonna see no again. And yes, and if we refresh a few more times, it says yes. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.